Hello my soccer universe. With Atletico's 1-0 win over Sevilla, uh, which was a makeup game from round 4, I think. La Liga enters a two-week winter break, Christmas break, if you would like. And I think this is a good point to kind of look back at what has happened, especially since the last time I made a La Liga video, which was mid-November, when I was praising Girona all over the place and said, what a... A uh, great story this is. Yes, we know there's financial backing in there, but the uh, real kicker is that this story is not ending. The way it looks at the moment is that we have a title race. <laughs> However, this is a title race that does not involve Atletico Madrid and it does not involve, for sure, not Barcelona. <laughs> However, the other Catalan team, Girona, is level on points with Real Madrid and only because of a freak um, occurrence of late goals in the last round. Uh, Real Madrid top thanks to goal difference which of course will then uh, we have to see convert later into head-to-head -head, but Real Madrid won the first leg. Um, at this point one really has to say and especially going into the camp now Girona showed that they are a great team. This is a team that at least will finish in the top four. I'm absolutely convinced of that <laughs> and it's even more gutting because if you look at the background, do you see any Girona jersey? I'm working on it. I'm really am working on it because uh, I've reached another point where this is not a blip. This is a team that after 18 rounds has 45 points. The last, the next round, as, we, as we'll see, is against Atletico Madrid at home. Might not be 45, uh, 45 or, uh, or 48 points. Um, could be. That's an amazing return and losing only at home to Real Madrid in a game where they were not outclassed where they actually had good chances and probably would have deserved a little bit more. It was just that Real Madrid were really ruthless. Uh, it just tells you what a really, really special team this is. Kind of a no-name team and I want to uh, shout out to coach Mitchell. I think he is the mastermind behind all that. But where there's a lot of joy, there's also a lot of tears and there are two teams that to me are kind of exemplary for being down. One of them is, of course, Sevilla, who had under the, I think it was Diego Alonso was the uh, coach, uh, that they rehired after they let go of Mendy Libar, didn't get a win in the league, are out of Europe completely. He had to get fired. Yes, they maybe had a little bit turnaround. The Kike Sanchez Flores now came in, but it has to be seen. I still think that Sevilla will be relatively safe for relegation, but Europe this time around, nope. They will not, and I think it uh, it has a little bit of Valencia written all over. The other team on a much, much higher level that is, of course, crying is Barcelona, a team that just does not look right. Uh, yes, they get the wins, but sometimes very much against the run of a run of play. Uh, they have occasionally good um, uh, sequences or good uh, passages of play within a game. However, the thing that got them to the title last year and characteristic was the defense. The defense is leaky all over and especially Girona exposed this big time and Barcelona just went ahead, tried to attack and Girona hit them on the counter or just outplayed them. And while uh, Xavi afterwards said, yeah, we had so many uh, shots on goal. No, there was nothing like that. And this means for me that Barcelona is, while undoubtedly talented, this is a team that does not look right. Yes, has also an injury crisis. We cannot uh, um, uh, overlook look that. I mean, uh, Gavi is out now for uh, this, the year. Uh, we have the Pedri is coming back. Uh, Frankie De Jong is, can, is, 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 is coming back. But there are so many players that it just is not a gelling team. Real Madrid also have many, many injuries. However, Real Madrid kind of is always a next man up mentality. I think uh, the overall feeling around Real Madrid is a much healthier one. And... It's kind of a little bit, uh, I don't want to say sad, but it's not a, a vintage Real Madrid team. A very well coached Real Madrid team that have the outstanding performance in, uh, in Jude Bellingham, but also Rodrigo is uh, coming up now and asserting himself a little bit more. Um, but, you know, Vinny Jr. has been out. There have been many, many injuries. David Alaba is now out as well, which has me worried as a fan of Austria but they always find a way to win and the squad is deep enough uh, to really keep on winning. 
and despite it not being a vintage Real Madrid team, they're up there. And what about the point I wanted want to make? It's actually kind of sad, not really. I mean, that none of the other big teams, like Atletico, you always feel that they could be there, but whenever it counts, they're not. Yes, they beat Real Madrid, uh, the only loss that Real Madrid had, but they also then uh, they lost already four games, and some of those losses are rather, rather poor ones. At Barcelona, where you really expect Atletico to shine through. And then against the other great story of this season so far, which has to be Athletic Club, which I'm wearing here. Um, they, to me, if it wasn't for Giron, we would, would be talking how great Athletic Club are playing. And especially the game against Atletico Madrid that just happened uh, on the 125th birthday. Yes, it was the 125th birthday. Uh, this was a very, very complete performance. Uh, I have heard some even say that this was the best single team performance by any team in La Liga this season, including Girona's 4-2 win at the Camp Nou. Um, at this rate, Athletic Club, I think they could get at Barcelona. They really could. They're also a team that took points of Girona, like after the uh, in, in international play, they, they came back and managed to one one draw again at Girona which tells us both teams are actually for real and I would love nothing more to see Girona and Athletic Club make it into in, in the Champions League um, and maybe an Atletico and a Barcelona not making it because I think especially when I look at Barcelona mm -hmm. in a way it hurts saying because for me Bar Barcelona when they are gelling and they're playing well it's a great team and uh, I would have lots of sympathies for them. But the way they have been doing as, as of late, I have to say I would not feel sorry for them if they wouldn't make the Champions League. And that's why they are, and that's another uh, topic that came up, they are in the Super League at the moment. So yeah, uh, really, really tight and very interesting Liga up top uh, this season. And you have been seeing the results fr uh, from the last few rounds uh, rotating through here. Um, I want to also say a little bit about the relegation battle. We see that on the bottom the Celta, Granada and Almeria are currently in the relegation spots. Granada and Almeria seemingly are down, uh, the two Andalusian teams. Uh, however, Celta is a team that actually performs much, much better than they get results. They usually only lose by a slim margin. And I have the feeling that with Rafa Benitez, maybe they can get a run together. And then, you know, Cadiz, Al Alaves, Sevilla, Mallorca are not all that far off, although Mallorca have had a relatively decent run as of late. So yeah, La Liga, really, really, really interesting. Um, let's see. Also, uh, for, 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 uh, let's talk about the expected standings here as well. How does my model predict the end of La Liga? We see Real Madrid, Barcelona, Atletico, Girona at the moment. It's because Girona still hasn't caught up with the rating. This usually takes a, a, a while. Personally, I would agree that Real Madrid, I think Girona will do top four. I cannot really see Girona, although they are a serious team. Um, if they can avoid injuries, maybe they can keep up. But honestly, this is a league made for Real Madrid to win at at, at the moment. And probably the class uh, of Barcelona Atleti will eventually show through, as it has at some points. I mean, at Barcelona play atrocious, but they have still some good players out there, even though Lewandowski is majorly misfiring. And, you know, the country of Lewandowski is also one where you wonder, the less goals he scores, the more you have to pay him. But they're decent enough squad to probably just get, get it done. I'm not sure if they will finish second, because that would be really, really high. It would actually really annoy me. Uh, I, On form at the moment, the two Basque teams are better and Girona is better for sure as well. As for Atletico, I wish they would get some consistency, because if this Atletico Madrid team is gelling, and I probably have not mentioned even the best player of that league so far, which is Antoine Griezmann, who is now Atletico's single, uh, um, uh, has, has the single most goals for Atletico Madrid. If this Atletico Madrid is gelling, they are a really, really interesting proposition. They just need to get the consistency, and this is where they are lacking. So yeah, uh, when we come back, 
We actually, as I said, we have a really interesting one with Giron Atletico Madrid and the Real Madrid host Mallorca. So it seems to be tailor-made for Real Madrid to kind of take a bigger uh, lead. Barcelona have to go to Las Palmas. This is not an easy one because Las Palmas sit actually relatively high in the table in ninth spot. So uh, look for more trial for Barcelona here. Uh, I also see uh, Valencia Villarreal, yeah, Derby de la Comunidad, if you like. And... Um, we have also Sevilla against Athletic Club, which sounds probably better than it currently is. But I don't want to leave you now with this. I also want to talk about a little bit Copa del Rey because this will also be coming back. And we had a Copa del Rey round already where the four teams for the Super Cup, which will be held in Saudi Arabia, has a ridiculous format, which means the top three from last season, plus also soon as the finalists. Um, are there and they did not play in this round so far. Almost all the favorites got through Villarreal, also a team kind of could be something, but they're not very convincing so far and probably will also finish outside of Europe. Only two on the way at home at fourth tier Zamora. We also see like Real Sociedad against Andorich, not very uh, convincing. Sevilla gets their only win under, uh, I think it was Diego Alonso. I, I, should, I should, 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 should have looked it up. And then the big one, Cadiz losing to Arandina. That is a major, major shocker. And Girona in typical fashion score five, but concede two as well. That's Girona for you. And after the La Liga round, we, as, as, as I said, we have also the Copa del Rey round coming. Um, with, you know, the, uh, the way it's set up, we don't really have any big uh, matchups, although there are more uh, La, uh, La Liga 2 uh, against uh, top matches than I would expect. Like uh, we have Elche against Girona. We also have. Uh, La Liga matchup between Alaves and Real Betis. Madrid host Arandina, who had just beaten Caca Cadiz. Uh, Barcelona um, have to go to Barbastro. Uh, we also see that uh, Girona, where it's Athletic Madrid, have to go to Lugo, who have been uh, rele relegated from the second tier as well. So that's it from me at the state of La Liga currently. As I said, at the moment, it looks like a race of two for, for a title, although I'm not sure if Girona will have the stamina to hold through. Can they pull a Leicester? That's the big question. The, the L word, the Leicester word. That's probably the one thing that would co compare, although Leicester did not have the backing that Girona has. And this is something that has not to be understated. However, I don't feel that the City group is, um, you know, they have a financial might, but it's not like they can borrow now a Holland or, or so on. If you look at the, at the players, I mean, there's a tough begin there. There is a still a, a Stuani who has been playing for Giron for, for, for quite a while. It's not a super team by the names, but they're playing super. And that's why I'm saying the Leicester con comparison is probably the most apt one. The question is how much can Real Madrid deal with the in, in, in injuries and can they hit the next level. I, at the moment, I would still think that Real Madrid win this title. I count Atletico Madrid and Barcelona. But hey, that's why the games need to be played. And yes, I hope that the next time we are doing a La Liga review video, maybe even the next time, uh, yeah, I'm not, not sure. Next time I'll do a review video, I hope I have a Girona shirt. Let's really, really hope for that and because they deserve to be in the collection, although it's only their fourth ever La Liga season. This is just ridiculous. Any case, please let me know your thoughts about La Liga uh, in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you soon about more La Liga. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.